came across this tool called Punt. It's an all-in-one content design tool and it's in a beta program and I've signed up for it so I don't know exactly how it works yet but I was quite intrigued because it integrates into dev environments and design environments and it can be collaborated on and it can all be consolidated together. I find it really useful. It made me think about something that I still see which is a really big problem and that is content design and content strategy. I feel that it's one of the most neglected things that teams are doing. Teams still traditionally seem to be set up as UXs and UI inside squads and there's not enough attention paid to content and to writing specifically. And when I say that it's not about having a writer in each room writing for every single project, it's that there should be a writing team who are distributed around the projects to ensure that copy is being identified and produced at the right points during the project. It's not enough to just go and come up with a design and go through the whole process and then afterwards say to the, the content writers or the UX writers, whatever you want to call them now, and say, yeah, you guys need to write some copy for this. We've got to give it through to, to marketing. We've got to get it out on the market. You guys need to write some copy. You know, that's throwing it over the wall. That's um, not being inclusive. And it's not really respecting the value that writing can bring to any projects out there. So for me, just to kind of clarify for, for all of you, the reason why I think this is so valuable is that you shouldn't really be designing in the first place without identifying your copy. Jeffrey Zeldman said this, content precedes design. Design in the absence of content is not design, it's decoration. What this means in, in kind of the simplest terms is what are you designing if you're not designing around what the actual content is? And there should be some sort of strategy around this. You shouldn't be going and saying, here's a block, put some text in it, and I'll leave that. I'll put some Laura Epson and I'll and I'll leave that and, and you'll insert some text. You should be addressing and saying, well, what do we actually want to say? What are we trying to communicate? What are we trying to do? How does this connect to the broader ecosystem that we communicate? And so you need to kind of think about this and go, wait a minute, where does your communication actually touch? Everything from the actual websites and apps, the communication in marketing, it even goes so far as internally, the languages that are being used. It connects different departments and brings them together when they've got a shared language. So communicating from the start this is what we're trying to say, these are the features we're trying to deliver, this is what it does. That's a very good example of why you need copy early. You don't want to get communication mixed up. Added to that is things like voice control devices. You know, making sure that when somebody's asking a question on Siri or any other device, it's going and it's looking for information that is utilized across everything. What about chatbots? What are they saying? What is our call center saying? Everything should be aligned. And so you should be taking into consideration all of these different assets and resources and departments, their needs need to be taken into consideration. So a good upfront strategy is what's required. Looking at Punct, it makes perfect sense to say, let's have a single repository that all of this goes into and then can be utilized across all of these different platforms and touch points. That to me is a very smart move. Now, of course, somebody can say, yeah, we keep everything in Dropbox or we've got uh, this Memo that we put everything into and we've got Google Docs and we can collaborate and everything. I don't think that's the same thing. That's another whole thing completely when you can be working in Figma or XD and you can literally just pull the correct copy into your design. When you're developing and you can just pull the respective copy uh, into, into your work, that to me makes a lot of sense. 
So hopefully this tool's everything that it sounds like it's gonna be. Check it out, it's punked.co, sign up, you know, try get on the beta program and try and utilize it. And I hope that you will share your learnings with all of us. My name's Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.